Hello there, Miguel Martinez Juarez here today. I want to read a chapter of As a Man Thinketh, okay? This book is about thought and essentially your circumstances, okay? Um, he's a English writer from the early 1900s, okay? Yeah. Everyone knows his book, okay? As a Man Thinketh, it was published in 1903. Okay, it's just a great book. It's about thought and manifestation. Okay, it's one of the, one of the um, best writers out there. Um, his work is so good that we still we still hear hear of it today. Okay, and you've been attracted to this because you you need to hear the last chapter, Serenity. Okay, and why Serenity? Right, Serenity talks about calmness, being poised. Okay. And you must be calm, you must be non-resistant to allow things to be created into your life, okay? You must be calm, all right? So, I'm gonna go over that chapter, okay? Serenity, it's the very last chapter. It's very poetic as well. The way he writes is very poetic, okay? If this video does well, no, actually, I'm not, it doesn't matter if it does well or not. I'm gonna read the entire book, okay? Um, soon. For now, I'm going to read um, Serenity because it talked about being calm. Okay, very poetic. And calmness is imperative. It's, it's critical. It's important for you to manifest things. Okay, you must be non-resistant. No negativity inside of you. you. must have the feelings of your wish fulfilled. Okay, to allow energy, to allow God to flow through you, to inspire you, to take the inspired action, um, to get get the ideas and hunches, okay, that are required, okay, and attract people, events, circumstances for your wish, okay. Now let's get started. Serenity, calmness of mind, is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It is a result of long and patient effort in self-control. Its presence is an indication of ripened experience and of a more than ordinary knowledge of the laws and operations of thought. A man becomes calm in the measure that he understands himself as a thought evolved being. For such knowledge necessitates the understanding of others as the result of thought. And as he develops a right understanding and sees more and more clearly the internal relations of things by action of cause and effect, he ceases to fuss and fume and worry and grieve and remains poised, steadfast, serene. The calm man, having learned how to govern himself, knows how to adapt himself to others and they, in turn, reverence his spiritual strength and feel that they can learn of him and rely upon him. The more tranquil a man becomes, the greater is his success, his influence, his power for good. Even the ordinary trader will find his business prosperity increase as he develops a greater self-control and equanimity, for people will always prefer to deal with the man whose demeanor is strongly equable. The strong, calm man is always loved and revered. He is like a shade-given tree in a thirsty land or a sheltering rock in a storm. Who does not love a tranquil heart, a sweet-tempered, balanced life? It does not matter, matter whether it rains or shines or what changes come to those possessing these blessings, for they are always sweet, serene, and calm. The exquisite poise of character, which we call serenity, is the last lesson of culture. It is the flowering of life, the fruitage of the soul. It is precious as wisdom, more to be desired than gold, yeah, than even fine gold. How significant mere money-seeking looks in comparison with a serene life, a life that dwells in the ocean of truth, 
beneath the waves, beyond the reach of tempests, in the eternal calm. How many people we know who sour their lives, who ruin all that is sweet and beautiful by explosive tempers, who destroy their poise of character and make bad blood. It is a question whether the great majority of people do not ruin their lives and mar their happiness by lack of self-control. How few people we meet in life who are well balanced, who have the exquisite poise which is characteristic of the Finnish character. Yes, humanity surges with uncontrolled passion, is tumultuous with ungoverned grief, is blown about by anxiety and doubt. Only the wise man, only he whose thoughts are controlled and purified, makes the winds and the storms of the soul obey him. Tempest tossed souls wherever ye may be, and in whatsoever conditions ye may live. Know this, in the ocean of life the isles of blessedness are smiling, and the sunny shore of your ideal awaits your coming. Keep your hand firmly upon the helm of thought. In the bark of your soul reclines the commanding master. He does but sleep. Wake him. Self-control is strength. Right thought is mastery. Calmness is power. Say unto your heart, Peace, be still. End of serenity. And as I'm thinking, and as I'm reading, I'm connecting what soul means. And soul is your subconscious mind. Okay. You may want to rewatch this and replace the term soul with subconscious mind. It can give you a new meaning. Okay. I hope you like this one. Stay in a non-resistant state. Okay. Attain the attribute of serenity and poise. I hope you like this one. Thank you. Until next time.